Cool. One of my favorite characters ever, one of my classics. Hey, how's it going? Today's drawing lesson is going to be simple and for beginners. So if you're a complete beginner and you've never drawn anything in your life, this is the perfect place to be. This is going to be step by step and it's going to be short. I try to keep these around the 10 minute mark. All of these are fun, so let's get started and jump right into it. Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw Weenie the Pooh, a uh, character I absolutely love. There's another version of Weenie the Pooh on the site, so you can always look for that. It's a more cartoonified version, like a bigger head one. But I'm going to do the classic version of Weenie the Pooh. It's going to be step-by-step -step easy for beginners, just as the intro said. Um, and I think you're gonna have a lot of fun doing it before we get into anything else Don't forget check out the description. There's a lot of tools there to make you a better artist. There's a cute drawing ebook. There is a What else is there? <laughs> there is links to other very good um, Basically playlists to a lot of cool stuff that you're gonna enjoy um, And there's also a beginner program on there as well. So go check that out either after the video probably um, But that's it. Let's jump into it Okay, so let's get into drawing uh, We need the poop I'm um, gonna be using this right here, Crayola brand marker, and we're gonna get into coloring, but that's after we kind of do the marker part. So let's get started here. I'm gonna go here and go on into uh, drawing Pooh's face. He's gonna be sitting back a little bit. It's kind of a pose he always does. So I'm gonna start with his face. I'm gonna draw a line here. Just kind of a short line. It's gonna be at the top of his nose. Then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to Draw the tip of his nose, which is mostly cylindrical. <clears throat> and I'm gonna fill that in because it's it's uh, pretty much just black. Right on. I'm gonna go over here to the front, and I'm gonna draw a line curve inward, and that's gonna be his uh, snout here. Gonna go over here to the front. Draw a line over here, curve to the front of his brow, and I'm gonna throw like a little. It's gonna be like a little curved line up, like a little long, like a little bit of a long curve. Sorry, for the top of his head, right there. So like a little rounded out. Alrighty. Gonna go over here to his eyes. His eyes are just. This looks like a like a line almost. It's it's kind of he's got these sometimes long eyes. It's like a slightly stretched out dot. Right here as well. But it's still round. It's a, it's a little stretched. I'm gonna draw a line underneath. Okay, we got Pooh's face forming. So it's just like a dot with a line underneath it. For his cheek, right? I'm gonna go over here, and he's got these little ears. Uh, I used to always watch Weenie the Pooh when um, for the cartoon when he was, it was Saturday morning. I used to always watch that. I'm already thinking it was like late Saturday morning. So that ear is essentially just a curve, and here's the far side ear. of his head now. It's going to be just a bit of a larger curve right here. <laughs> then I'm going to go to the front of his face. He's going to, out from his nose, he's going to have a far side cheek. That's going to pull out right here, like a little short line. And then the long line is going to be similar to this one, long line downward. Similar to that one. Sorry, I'm like going over. It's just my markers are not so great. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way. Subscribing is a big deal. Uh, it'll let you know when I post, but don't forget to click the notification. I post usually every single day in the morning. 
but that might change uh, so do not forget to uh, subscribe it helps the algorithm out if the stuff I do here is worth your time please consider uh, subscribing it really really helps out line over here for the top of this shirt as you can tell my marker is not going well <laughs> find the markers Switching back and forth between these four markers that are really not so great, but like they kind of have a little bit of life in each one, so I kind of switch them. Ready for the front of his shirt. He's got this wrinkle there. And the out right here is like a fold. And curve over here. So that shirt's going to be over the top of the stomach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve downward here. So right here I'm going to throw a pretty large curve. Because we're going to get his whole body there. <laughs> Go over here. Curve at the top. And over here. Get the back of that shirt. Over here we're going to have the top of the sleeve. The shirt. The, the, what do you call that? Like the shoulder, basically. The sleeve, I guess, right? That's gonna go down. I'm gonna wrap that around this corner here. Pull up. And you can put a little line here because it's like cloth, right? That kind of squeezes together at the armpit. Let's draw a straight line down for his paw, or basically his arm leading into his paw. So it's going to be almost like a soft L shape. Going to go to this end. Going to move a little bit in and find the rest of that. So we have now his hand. <laughs> We're going to pull the shirt up. See where the shirt is here. I'm going to pull it just up in that direction. Right. Complete that. Let's go over here for his tummy. And he is... A lot of, a lot of, a lot of chubby jokes about him, you know, about him, about Pooh being chubby. He always makes fun of himself for being uh, chubby, all the honey. Don't curve it, but don't curve it all the way. Just kind of estimate where you would. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line over here for his leg. We're going to wrap that where the leg touches the, uh, you know, his body. Here and line here. Okie doke. We're gonna draw the foot now. So the foot is a little bit higher up than that leg. Pull down. See that kind of L shape. It's like a upside down L, I guess, and a soft upside down L shape. And you wanna do a very similar shape right here. This is more of just a regular curve because we're going to see the bottom of his feet, right? So it's just a simple teddy bear foot like that. We're going to take this line, connect it up here. Right on. Doing good. And we're going to do, we need the far arm over here. So we're going to do the far sleeve. First, just a line, just a line, simple line, curve down, and we're going to draw another little line right here for the back. Don't forget to press like, by the way, if you like the tutorial so far. The likes are really what um, I think make the video grow, so absolutely like it. All right. I mean, if you do like it, of course, but I'm assuming you do if you're here at this point. Let's draw his far side leg, so we want it to match this one. We're going to draw just a straight line here, coming out the bottom there. This shape again, it's kind of round at the end of the foot. You have to kind of, you know, size them out, make sure they're, you know, roughly, the same. they look roughly the same. That shape, which is the bottom of the foot. Do this upside down L again, right here, down. And line connecting the body. All right, let's get into coloring. Alright, so let's uh, get into the coloring. 
I'm gonna be using two only, yellow, orange, and uh, just red. There, this is a Rose Art brand. This is just a random brand that, I mean, I can't even find the brand on it. So, I'm gonna start with the red shirt, I think. It's relatively simple, there's less of it. And right now I'm basically coloring my own coloring book, and that's kind of what you're doing as well. You're coloring your own coloring book, and it's just kind of fun to do that. Um, Winnie the Pooh was always a great character. I love that character. The character was such, I don't know, it was something, there's something so wholesome about it. I even like that movie, the Christopher Robin movie that came out with uh, Ewan McGregor. I think people were kind of mixed on that, right? I really liked it. But yeah, the series is where it's at. And uh, there's, some, there's something just really wholesome about it. Kind of reminds me of like Peanuts or something like that. Just a really wholesome uh, universe, kind of. The whole Winnie the Pooh universe. So I got the red of the shirt, and I'm just kind of coloring it more or less flat. You can do the same thing. Uh, him, his fur is, can be yellow or like this honey type yellow, which is what I'm trying to use. That's why I'm using yellow orange. It's like a mixture of yellow orange. I think it shows up on. I use it for other stuff too because I think it shows up on uh, camera better. So sometimes I adjust things so that they show up on the camera uh, more uh, more than not. But. Yeah, I, I'm assuming they did that because it's the color of honey. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just a coincidence that honey and we need a food. Maybe because he had, he had so much honey that his skin turned into, uh, you know, honey or something. Or like he just turned the color of honey because he had so much of it. Right? It's pretty much all he keeps for the most part. I think he'd mix it in, mix some stuff in there. Uh, I like honey as well, just for clarification. I put it on my tea. I drink tons and tons of tea, so always, always tea on my honey. Always. Ta -da. So I got his face in. And again, I'm more or less just kind of coloring it flat. I usually do it one direction here. I can just do, kind of do it all directions so I can fill in those white spaces. But I'm gonna start from here and kind of, well, color that. Again, there's like there's some kind of satisfaction on coloring these little pieces, which I guess kind of lends to the whole coloring part of it. universe love this character the characters lasted for you know even till now I want more uh, kind of stuff from this character honestly and I think there always will be more stuff I think it's just gonna keep going it's strange how enjoyable this show is even for like uh, everybody in like every age group it's kind of wild I think that's probably part of the appeal of Winnie the Pooh, and also this, this really kind of just cute design, to be honest. He's got a very, very cute design. Try to do this a little bit quicker, so I'll keep you guys here all day. I had a lot of requests to do color, that's why I've been coloring characters. Um, you know, on camera, as opposed to just kind of going, okay guys, that's it, and then boom, it just like, all of a sudden, it, like, it's just in color, you know? <laughs> because that's kind of what other channels do and kind of what I used to do as well. Um, who knows, maybe I'll go back to that if I have to. Oops, sorry, I'm moving this. Who knows, maybe I'll go back to that um, format where you just go, and that's it, guys, and then boom, the color just springs up where there's color in the thumbnail, and you're like, hey, I thought we are going to color that together. I guess not. People just kind of forget about it. Sorry, I don't know.
thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. It has been amazing. Uh, thank you for following along this much. I love drawing classic characters, so if you know of any other ones, let me know. Maybe some other Winnie the Pooh characters, that'd be cool. Uh, if this gets enough likes, um, I will do more Winnie the Pooh. So every time something gets likes, I do more in that topic because that means that's what people want to see. So let me know through your likes. Also, don't forget, if you want to help out with that, share the video. If you enjoyed it, awesome. Uh, you can share it. Share, there's an auto share button below this. Share it on Pinterest or Twitter or Facebook uh, or Tumblr, anything. Sharing it anywhere helps it out, gets some traction, and brings back a really cool kind of audience. Uh, a lot of people coming. I've met a lot of people that kind of came back that way. So that's it. I'll see you tomorrow.